Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, we're going to talk about the ITSM Success Dashboard. That's right, this came out in San Diego. I'm just now getting around to it. There's been a store update and they've added some features and functionality, but I've got a series coming out on UI Builder, but these new workspaces, these new dashboards are just blowing me away. Um, let's get right to it. I'm going to show you what's going on with this ITSM Success Dashboard. If you want it, go to the store. You can download it and install it in your instance if you're entitled. This is what it looks like when you navigate to it. So I wanna point out a couple of things. One is it's using the next experience, right? So we've got this new UI to interact with things. And let's take this one in the middle here, requests completed. So um, maybe looking at its number, 1623, it's up 31 since April of 22. Someone does to come in here and click this little icon, it flips and tells you how this is calculated. Such a small, but like incredibly useful feature that, you know, like, hey, I'm not gonna just show you data, I'm gonna show you how we calculate the data. And let's take that a step further. Look on the right hand side, I've got a whole like swing panel of all the different things and the calculations and the, the, the reasoning behind them, right? So that's cool in and of itself, but it's service now, so guess what you can do? You can click on these things and it changes the visualization down below. So now we've got the request completed by month and year um, uh, going that, that direction towards my head. If I view details on it, it pops in almost like, you know, a performance analytics had like the drill down when you click on a KPI. So this one comes in here, we've got the details on this. I can come down here to request items closed, and now I get a nice visual. Um, again, it's looking a lot like performance analytics, but a lot snappier. Did you see how fast that loaded compared to performance analytics in the past? Um, I can change the date. I can show the records for this um, actual data set. So if I wanted to browse the actual records there, um, I've got some chart options right in here. So this used to be in a different space in performance analytics, but I can come in here. I can forecast. I can see what the trend is. And these are really nice and really snappy, really speedy things. Um, I can change my monthly, quarterly, yearly to see all the data um, or the request items closed by that uh, particular metric. If I go back home, um, I've got you know the rest of the stuff you can see there, successful predictions, requests completed. Um, so performance overview and service quality are the two tabs. And here in service quality, we've got customer satisfaction, mean time to resolve, and these all do the same things that I was just showing you. So if we hop into breach.sla, I can go view the details, um, see how that's calculated, just like we were still showing on the request completed. Um, so I've got information on that, and then I can dive into the actual details for that particular thing. Um, one of the enhancements they made um, since San Diego when they made some changes to it is this button in the upper right, the shared dashboard. I think there's a copy link uh, functionality here now. So um, if you see there in the middle, you can maybe select some recipients to actually send them an email. Send an email. So if I just choose Carl here, we can type a message and actually send an email. Or I can just copy the URL and send them on its way so everybody can see it. So another small but just incremental awesome change in service now, ITSM success dashboard. You know, you're putting all your data in service now, you're putting all your workflows um, in the system, and one of the things we wanna show is that we're getting value out of our investment in service now. And this new success dashboard is a step in that direction to show you how you get or how you're seeing success with ITSM. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.